Using Split Testing for SEO Success, The Practical Guide. Okay, that's enough theory for a bit. It's time to get practical. How do you go about running a split test and seeing how it impacts on your SEO? There are a couple of different ways. In this video, we're going to look at two of the most common, creating two different versions of a web page versus creating one page that loads differently for different users. We'll look at how this works and at which one is best for you. In this video, we will first of all discuss the most common method, which is to use different pages on the same website. Two different web pages. The first option is to compare two slightly different web pages that employ different SEO strategies, keeping everything else as close to equal as possible. More accurately, you will compare two groups of different pages. Comparing two versions of the same page can work, but it's rife with difficulty. Let's say, for example, that you have a web page all about how to train your Labrador and a web page all about how to train your Golden Retriever. These pages are almost identical in subject matter, and you're going to go out of your way to ensure they are extremely similar in all other ways that count, too. You'll ensure they have the same number of links pointing to them, that they are equally prominent on your site, that they are the same length, that they have the same number of headings, etc. From here, you can then go about making small changes to a few of the matched pages and see if this boosts or hurts traffic. You'll then watch the difference in your stats, making sure to collect as much data as possible. Repeat this a few times with different matched pages. And once you are sure that your new SEO strategy works, introduce it to the rest of your content. Challenges. Of course, this option is not perfect. In case you hadn't already figured it out, one big issue is that both versions of the page are targeting different keywords or competing for the same ones, which massively skews your results. Different keywords will include different competition, different related terms, and more. All of this means that you are never comparing like for like. And if you try and create two pages that compete for the same keyword, then you could end up running afoul of one of Google's most recent algorithm updates, the diversity update. This update is aimed at ensuring that most SERPs don't display multiple results for the same site, thereby meaning that you won't have a fair fight on your hands. You can create two pages targeting the same keywords and see which one wins, but even then, you are changing the results simply by having competition exists provided by you. You could always create two pages the exact same, but this is inadvisable for a number of reasons. Firstly, Google will see a precise duplicate page as being worthless and might even penalize the page. Google doesn't want its users to repeatedly stumble upon the same content and so it won't rank it. If these pages are hosted on separate domains, which introduces more complex factors such as domain age, then Google might see one page as having violated the copyright of the other, and the entire site could be severely penalized. Then there's the fact that having more than one page with the same content is confusing for viewers and could lose you the trust of your readers. The optimal answer to this is to use different pages, but to make sure that you target extremely similar keywords. Use a keyword research tool like KW Finder, www.kwfinder.com, and then target keywords that have similar search volumes and similar KD, keyword difficulty ratings. When you do this, you can try different techniques on similar pages with similar objectives and see which one comes out on top. Another option is to look at two pages that rank identically, and then try making the change to one of those pages and see how it is affected. This is a slightly better strategy because you are starting from a similar place. What's more is that you can open up your stats and then use the historical data in order to make a forecast of how the web pages should have behaved. If one page was moving in a certain direction and that direction sped up, slowed down, or reversed, then it might be the result of the changes you made, especially if the matched page did not show the same changes. Again, the different difficulty of different keywords, the amount of competition, etc., can all impact on your results and potentially skew your findings. But while this might be seen as a problem, it can be mitigated somewhat by simply using as many pages as possible in your test. In other words, instead of taking two similar web pages and comparing their success where one has been changed, you instead take two groups of pages and make the changes to some of them while leaving the others as they are. Again, it's possible that by sheer coincidence, multiple pages will perform better than others beginning from that point. But that's when you use the statistical significance tests, compared the new and the old ranking positions of those in Group A to those in Group B, and then find out if the data suggests an effect. This is the main technique that this training will be recommending for carrying out split tests, and we'll call it the matched pages method. 